And we start a busy news night with a health alert that people need to know about. A person diagnosed with measles visited a lot of public places over the last week and potentially exposed thousands of people to the disease. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. Now health officials are concerned that some people who were exposed might not be immune. To your sides, Leanne Stuck is in the Information Center for us tonight with the very latest in the details. Leanne? Yes, Scott and Mary Alice, during a news conference this afternoon, Erie County Health Commissioner Dr. Gail Burstein told us the infected person visited 11 places around Erie County during the week they were contagious with measles. Now take a look at these locations and times because they are important. They're between December 4th and December 11th. This person visited Catholic Charities on Herkimer twice, the Department of Health Clinic on William Street twice. They also visited the Aldi on Transit Road, the Best Buy on Transit and Marshalls on Maple Road. Now, if you were at any of these locations during these times you see on your screen and experience symptoms, you are asked to contact your doctor. Now, the symptoms include fever, runny nose, cough, watery eyes, and a rash. Dr. Burstein says the person just came to the country a couple weeks ago. This person uh, is originally from Eastern Europe. And uh, we know throughout Europe, especially through Eastern Europe, uh, there is uh, a large number of measles cases in those countries uh, because they're, those individuals are, you know, people in those countries are not getting immunized. Now let's talk about who should not be concerned about the outbreak. You are immune if you, if you were born before 1957 or received two doses of the MMR vaccine. Also, if you've had measles before or a lab test confirms your immunity. Now, Dr. Versine says all of the locations on that list have been contacted to inform the staff. Now, if you'd like to see the full list of times and locations for yourself, we have posted it on our website, WGRZ.com. In the newsroom, Leanne Stock, Channel 2 